One of the things that we do when we create backups of Google Compute Engine VM instances is we not only back up the instance, we also back up the metadata that describes that backup. And we store that in our Envault pool. And the reason we do that is that it makes those backups truly portable between appliances so that while the prod appliance in this case prod appliance 69360 made the backup dr appliance 21790 can use the backup by importing the metadata so this makes all backups truly portable so how do we do an import let me show you the first thing you'll see is that i've got a single gce instance google compute engine instance here called prod one and it's being backed up by backup server 69360 remember that was the one on the left so what i've done is i've made sure that the credential that is being used by backup server 69360 remember we've used manage credentials to add it has been added to my target and that the target appliance can also see the disk pool that's the storage pool which in this case remember was called metadata backup so having done that i now go to that disk pool and it's the disk pool associated with my target appliance which remember was 21790 I'm going to right select it and I'm going to do a thing called import PD snapshot images. Now, apologies for the slightly confusing language. These are GCE instance backups, Google Compute Engine VM instance backups, but we refer to them as PD snapshots. And the reason for that is that, that the backups are actually snapshots of the persistent disk. So we're going to import these PD snapshot images. There's a couple of things to be aware of here, which is that we're importing into 21790. So in other words, we're teaching that appliance about the backups made by 69360. So that is the appliance that's been found inside the bucket. When we select it, what we can see is any applications that have backups in that bucket. Remember, this is just the backup of the metadata. In this case, remember, Prod1 was the application we're interested in. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit import. And it says this will import three images, which is actually exactly how many we've got. We know that there's three backups in there. I can show you that in a moment. All right, what we can see is that two images were imported and one was previously imported and thus skipped. So what this tells us is that appliance 21790 can now use backups created by 69360 because we've imported the metadata that allows the appliance to see it. So if I hit see the imported images, that will show me, show me the, uh, the images or I can hit OK if I have other applications in here. So now what I can do is when I go app manager applications, and right select the appliance and go access, what I see is something fairly obvious to the eye in terms of what's happening here. The snapshot column shows the available snapshots that are on the source appliance. Remote snapshots show available snapshots that are in the imported appliance. So remember 69360 made it, but I'm gonna use 21790 to access it. So what you can see is the appliance name here has changed to 21790. And when I do the mount, that mount is going to come from the appliance 21790, as in that's the appliance that is going to coordinate the creation of the PD disks uh, and, and have them mapped to the disk. And the same if I choose mount as new GCE instance. So this is a very handy way to make my GCE instance backups portable. Uh, as I said, the only thing that you need to make sure you do, and this is really something you need to do ahead of time, but you can do on the fly, is to ensure the credential, that's the cloud credential, is available on both the source and the target appliance, and that the storage pool is common to both the source and target appliance. Once you've done those two things, everything else will flow.